Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 2348, number of zero filled subarrays. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, need the logic, and the code. Now, let's dive into the solution. So, here I have taken the first example from the Liquid website. So, we need to count the continuous subarrays of zeros, right? For example, here zero itself is a subarray. This will be counted as one. And here we have a continuous zero, right? We have two zeros. So this will be counted as one subarray, right? And if I extend this particular window, this will be not considered as a subarray of zeros, right? So that's what the question says. We have to find the number of zero filled subarrays, right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially, I'm going to have two variables. One is current variable where I will keep track of the number of current subarrays I have seen. Then I will have another variable called total where I will update my total using the current subarrays, right? So now we will start. So first, I'm seeing the first element that is one. So I will check whether one is zero or not. I mean the first element is zero or not. No, it's not zero, right? It is one. So I will just move my eye pointer. It is not zero again, it is three, right? So I will move my eye pointer. Now, we have encountered zero now. When we encounter zero, we will increase our current subarray by one. That is, we are considering zero itself as a subarray, right? So after increasing my current variable by one, I will add this current subarray to my total number of subarrays I have seen. So now my total will become one. By adding the current, I'm going to get total as one. Now I will move my eye pointer. Again, I have encountered zero. Now again, I will increase my current by one. Now it becomes two. So now what this two represents here, we are considering this zero as one and we are considering zero comma zero as one subarray. Simultaneously, we are considering the individual and the subarray, right? Now, after increasing my current variable, I will add this current to my total. Now my total becomes three. One plus two is going to be three, right? So it's three now. Now I will move my eye pointer again. Now I have encountered a non-zero element that is two. When I reach a non-zero element, I will make my current variable as zero, right? Just I'm resetting to zero. Then again, I will move my eye pointer. Again, I'm encountering zero. I will increase my current variable by one and I will add this current to my total. Now it becomes four. Now again, I will move my eye pointer. I have encountered zero again. I will increase my current by one. And after increasing my current, I will add this current to my total. That is six. So my total becomes six now. Now again, I will move my eye pointer. Now I have encountered a non-zero element. So I need to reset my current variable to zero. That is, we don't have a continuous subarray anymore. That's what the, re the resetting of zero represents here, right? Then I'm finishing with the loop. I will return finally the total variable, right? So the time complexity will be order of n and space is constant space since we are not using any kind of extra space here, right? Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially my current and total will be zero, right? Then I'm going to iterate through my input array. Now I will check whether that particular element is zero or not. If it is zero, I will increase my current by one and then I will add this current to my total, right? Else, if I encounter a non-zero element, I will make my current variable as zero. Then finally, I will return my total variable, right? 
that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys